Hi there, today I want to talk about one of my favorite artists, Yayoi Kusama, and one inspired artwork by her. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It would uh, really help me and I really appreciate it. In today's art lesson, I'm using oil pastel and watercolor. I really love the effect that, that they create together. So I'm just using white oil pastel to draw these big tentacle-like shapes that she also does and that have also polka dots inside them. So you can start by doing that. You don't have to choose white color, but uh, I would like the effect of white color because you cannot see it at the start. But eventually when you add paint and other colors, um, you can see and I really like that effect. So I did go for the white color, but you're free to choose any color you like. In the next step, I will choose different colors of oil pastels to draw circles or polka dots inside. I really love the bright color in her artwork, so I usually also do go with bright colors myself and I think I'm quite enjoying this. While I'm drawing the dots or polka dots, I am going to talk about Yayoi Kusama a bit. Yayoi Kusama is a renowned Japanese contemporary artist known for her avant-garde and innovative works, particularly in the fields of sculpture, painting, installation art, and performance art. She was born on March 22, 1929 in Japan. Kusama is perhaps best known for her use of repetitive patterns, particularly polka dots and what she called infinity nets, which I will be using infinity nets um, in my artwork in the background as well today, and you will see that there. These patterns often cover her works, creating a sense of endlessness and obsession. The use of dots and nets is a recurring theme in her art and is often seen as a reflection of her experience with mental illness, specifically obsessive compulsive disorder. Yayoi began her artistic career in Japan in the 1950s. In 1957, she moved to New York City, where she became an integral part of the avant-garde art scene. Her early work included painting, sculptures, and performances that explored themes of sexuality, identity, and the human body. Kusama's work had a significant impact on the pop art movement of the 1960s. She was associated with artists like Andy Warhol and Claes Oldenburg, and was known for her innovative use of everyday objects in her art. Some of her artworks, if you noticed, has like pumpkins and other things and I really love those. After finishing um, the polka dots with oil pastel, I did go start with watercolor. You need a brush and a watercolor set. Um, just mix the water with watercolor and start going over the oil pastels. Because of um, the oil pastels effect, uh, it wouldn't uh, go over them just because oil and water uh, wouldn't mix so that's the interesting effect i was talking about and i hope when you are doing this artwork you will also experience this effect and enjoy it as much as i did creating this artwork kusama has been candid about her struggles with mental health throughout her life she voluntarily resides in a psychiatric hospital in Tokyo and has used art as a form of therapy and self-expression. Her repetitive patterns are often seen as a reflection of her mental states and her efforts to gain control over her anxieties. She is famous for her immersive large-scale installations such as her infinity rooms, which uses mirrors and lights to create the illusion of endless space. Her exhibitions have been showcased in major museums and galleries around the world, including the Tate Modern in London and Whitney Museum of American Art in New York. 
and sculpture garden in Washington, D.C. Yayoi Kusama is one of the most celebrated and influential contemporary artists globally, with a dedicated following of art enthusiasts and collectors. Her work have gained international acclaim for their unique aesthetics and emotional depth they convey. Kusama's signature polka dots have also made their way into the world of fashion and design. She has collaborated with fashion brands like Louis Vuitton and she designed clothing and accessories featuring her iconic patterns. Yayoi Kusama's art continues to captivate and inspire audiences worldwide and her contributions to contemporary art have left an indelible mark on the alt world. Her ability to transform personal struggles into powerful, visually striking works of art has made her a true icon in the realm of contemporary art. After finishing this step, going over each tentacles with watercolor, the next is that you are going to wait for them to dry and then after they dry you can start the background I again used white um, oil pastel to draw the nets I'm trying to fill the whole page with them and even go between the tentacles and the, the shapes that I did draw before give yourself time this step might take um, a bit longer and depending on the size of your paper Again, I'm using watercolor paper, so um, make sure you do that as well, just because when you are doing watercolor um, paper, um, it's a heavier paper and really helps with both the drawing and also when you're using watercolor on it, it wouldn't crinkle or um, peel away. Um, so make sure you use good paper, not just the printer paper. After finishing all the lines, I did go again with um, black and indigo watercolor um, on top of those. And as you can see, you can see the white um, oil pastel, pastel lines under there. Um, as is again, um, oil pastel doesn't mix with water, and uh, which creates this beautiful effect. You can paint over it and get that effect i hope you really enjoyed this art lesson and uh, you also experience it and do it please make sure you like and uh, follow me and subscribe to my channel i'm uh, planning to do create more art lessons in future and i hope to um, see you there watching and commenting for me as well if you're on Instagram, you can also use um, my name. My Instagram is also Marjan Ray Art. You probably can see it, and if you want, you can tag me or use my hashtag to um, show showcase your artwork that you created based on this art lesson. I would love to see them. Um, thank you so much again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.